roof on the seat. Zeppelin years ago, obviously. Um, there's a song they did called Good Times, Bad Times. And that song, The Good Times, Bad Times, uh, John Bonham does a double bass with his right foot that is phenomenal. So for years and years and years, I tried to figure out how he did it, not realizing that he kind of cheated. And when he was doing the triplets, he was going, uh, to make it sound like more was happening. So it's like. 
set of, you know, everybody thinks like, just so much faster, really he's cheating with the hi-hat, which when I figured that trick out, if, if I can tell any of you drummers out there right now, that trick makes you sound badass, man. Right there, that right there. If you can do that, man. That's that double bass with the one foot. One foot. No double bass paddle used here. One foot. It's basically like a drag trip, well, a, a triplet that you're using the hi hat for the first note and the bass drum for the next two. So. that triplet man that's it that's the key and that's the way with all this stuff i don't usually give out my secrets very often but if you're if you're checking it out right now and you're out there in facebook world there's uh there's a few secrets that i do as a drummer that uh if everybody out there that knew how to drum did these things it'd make their playing so much smoother so much better so the triplets, number one thing. Triplets go on forever. You can triplet anything. So you got them on the cymbals. Then you got them on the cymbals. So then you, if you move it to the drums, that's when you really get crazy. John Bonham also did a lot of stuff like this, too. He was the triplet king, so... Two hits on a tom or any snare, basically any anything on the kit, and then the bass drum last. So ba ba boom, ba ba boom. So so he could be in the middle of something, be like. take those triplets you can double them up you can slow them down you can speed them up you can half time full time you can do all sorts of crazy things with triplets with triplets you got it uh it's just the camera but i am left-handed chad 
Um, yeah, sorry, the camera's kind of messed up, obviously. But uh, I do play left-handed a lot of the time. And if I have my whole kit set up, I play with my left hand over here on the ride a lot. Because I'm left-handed. So growing up, when I started playing left-handed, or when I started playing, I played left-handed with my left hand on the hat a lot. So I can kind of just either play over here or play over here. I don't know, just messing around, showing you a little bit. But yeah, man, I can, I can switch. Um... That's part of what helps me be uh, be the drummer that I, I want to be anyway. Um, being able to switch from side, from either side on the kit. Because then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, I missed the, the snare. I went out, I was supposed to hit the snare. But you got your other hand right there. Just hit it with the other hand. so much the uh the one drop is uh my favorite beat in the world everybody that doesn't understand the one drop um they think it's like some simple too easy beat or whatever a one drop man if you can do a one drop you are a man i don't care who you are if you're a drummer and you can break into a real legit one drop
than that. It doesn't get much more fun than playing one drop, for sure. What's up? When you get into like some funk, some galactic soul life stuff like that, those are those are my other favorites. Shout out to uh, Ken Johnson, uh, God rest his soul. He was the original drummer for the Steve Miller Band, played drums for Kenny Neal for years in the Kenny Neal Blues <laughs> Band. And uh, he's one of the, my main influences, and he taught me how to drum for a long time when I was a little kid. Got fortunate enough to, to get taught by some greats. Um, Tom Quinn from Binghamton area, thanks nice, uh, to uh, my old band instructor, um, Jazz band instructor and uh, and concert band was uh, Don Burke. That guy's a man. Anybody else in the world got the chance to get taught by Don Burke? You're a good musician. I promise you that. This one's for you, Mr. Burke. Love you, man. Obviously, y'all know I'm just messing around tonight. Just playing. So I'm just here to keep messing around. right there. Maybe you see it better on the, uh, maybe you see it better on the snare drum. So it's supposed to be like,
Catch me later on. This is Nikolai coming live and direct from the Lion's Den. And I'll be doing this, I don't know, once a week or so. Getting on my kit, giving a couple pointers, getting my chops back because I ain't played in years and, uh, and doing my thing. So keep your eyes posted. Love y'all.